Hey, welcome back to West Make Stuff. I'm Wes and I make stuff. Today, in the spirit of the holidays, we're gonna be making a cookie cutter for your gingerbread men. And so I'm gonna be showing you how to use Autodesk Fusion 360 to make a cookie cutter. And then we're gonna 3D print it and we're gonna bake some cookies with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the computer now and I hope you enjoy. All right, everybody, so let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna make a gingerbread cookie man, our gingerbread man cookie. So first thing I'm gonna do is I want him to be roughly three and a half inches tall. So I'm just gonna put a reference line in, three and a half. That is not three and a half. So we'll change that to three and a half. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start out with a circle for his head. I'm gonna make it one inch. And then we'll zoom in here. Let's go ahead and make his body. All right, there's his body. Go ahead and put an arm in. I want his arms to be about a half inch. And then we're gonna do a circle to make him have a little hand. And then we'll do the same thing down here. Line, drop his leg down to about there. So it's gonna be a little short, but that's okay. Um, that'll look fine for our cookie cutter. 0.5 as well. These are all inches, by the way. And then we will put him another leg right there. All right, and now we're gonna trim it. What that's gonna let us do is just get rid of a lot of the excess lines that are on him that we don't need. All right. And now what we're gonna do is use a mirror command. Mirror, we're gonna select him. We're gonna select our mirror line. Well, actually we gotta deselect this and then reselect it as our mirror line, hit OK. And then we'll do a trim command once more, get rid of that line. So there's our little cookie cutter man. I missed a couple lines. All right, so he's been saved now. So now we're gonna do an offset command. And the offset's been giving me a little bit of trouble, so I'm hoping we can get it to work out. So that's pretty much everything we need. We're gonna trim that. And then we should be able to fill it. There we go. Go back over here. All right, and now we're gonna go again and mirror. fillet command like we did before between this line and this line. We'll pull it up to there. All right then, so now we've got, um, let's go ahead and get rid of our mirror line. Now we've got the two parts of our cookie cutter. And so we're gonna go ahead and do an extrusion not on the center part, just on the outside parts. All right, so I've run into a little snag. Somewhere there's an open end and I'm not sure where it is. So rather than track it down, I'm just gonna delete the side and then we'll mirror after we've extruded. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of, with the trim command, all the connecting parts. And then we can go back in and select and delete all that. And now we've got this, and so we're gonna go ahead and extrude. And we're gonna turn sideways. Uh, we'll probably wanna extrude this about, probably an eighth of an inch as well. So 
bring that up. And now we're gonna do a sketch. And we're gonna go to this face here. And we're gonna do an offset. And this time we're gonna go for the 16th of an inch. See, we've got a solid, so we're gonna go ahead and extrude that out. And we're going to make it uh, probably a half inch. Let's go a half inch here. All right, so now we have half of our cookie cutter. Now we're gonna do the mirror command. This is a 3D mirror command. Okay, so we're gonna select bodies and then mirror plane. Once again, we'll choose that one. Hit okay. And there's our little man. And now we should be able to come in here, combine the two, join. Okay. All right, so now we've got a little cookie cutter man. So the next thing to do is we're gonna export it as STL. So we'll go file, well, let's save. And we'll go file, export, uh, 3D print. Yeah, 3D print. Select our object, refinement, we're just put it on high. It doesn't really matter that much. We're going to hit okay. Now it should, yeah, okay. So now to the desktop, we're gonna save it. Cookie cutter. So now that should be an STO, which it is. So now we've got simplified 3D. And we need to go ahead and throw the cookie on there. And we need to rotate them so they fits on the bed. X rotation, 90 degrees. Go negative 90 degrees. Center and arrange. So now we've got our little cookie man. And we're gonna go prepare to print. I've already got all my printing presets set. So that's that. So now we're gonna throw it on the SD card, take it over to the MakerBot, and get it printed. And so I'll join you guys back in just a minute. All right, we've got the printer all set up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and print. So we got our little cookie man finished up now. He came out really nicely on the 3D printer. I think he's a little bit smaller than really he should be, but that's okay, it'll work fine. So, gonna go ahead and just cut out our one cookie. Oop, and his little arms, so tiny. There we go. He's definitely a skinny little fella. So there's our one little cookie man. We may actually be able to get two out of this, so. So we will scoop him up. And put him on a pan. Yeah, definitely, if you make your own, make it a little bit thicker. Because this little cookie man is a little thin. A little bit emaciated. So we'll actually roll him out a friend as well.
All right, we'll go ahead and pop him in, them in the oven and we'll see how they come out. So they didn't come out too bad. Uh, I made one a disco man and one a regular little gingerbread man. And then of course I had the leftovers. I just made some round cookies there. Um, I'm going to upload this uh, gingerbread cookie cutter to Thingiverse. So if you've got a 3D printer at home and you want to make one like this, you can. Um, that link will be in the description. You can go check that out. And uh, but yeah, go out and make cookies even if they're a lot skinnier than they're supposed to be. All right, thanks again for watching. I hope you learned something in this video. Uh, I just appreciate your time. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Go out and make some cookies. Have a Merry Christmas. Thank you.